Yo, what's good, people, man? We're back for another episode of the Chain Reaction Podcast. You get me? I'm here with my old elite to the VI. We got F in the building. You see me? Faze, we couldn't be here today, but he is on the ones and twos on the boards. You see me? Mm-hmm. And yeah, man. How are you, my boy? I'm good, man. I um, have to big yourself up. You know what I mean? We're fed. We've eaten two KFC and that. You know what I'm saying? Big yeah, you fat boy thing. Fat, listen, it ain't a fat boy thing, fam. I'm, a, I'm about as hungry as you are nowadays. You get it? <laughs> Trust me, man. Mad thing. But yeah, no, I'm good, man. Um, what's happened? What's been happening with me this week? Just, yeah, just getting things back to normal, you mm. know? Mm. Getting things back to normal. Um, yeah, feeling good. You know what I'm saying? How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm well. Tired as hell. Mm. Um, one thing I did notice the other day, um, mm. you see how my sleeping pattern is absolutely shattered. Mm. I found that it's been like that for a while. Oh, ever since I've fucking known you, bro. Like that's, that's been, let's say, three years now, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool. One of my exes, this is like 2016, the last time I was in a relationship with her. Mm. She told me yesterday that I never used to sleep either. Mm. So I thought it got worse. It's just the same shit. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to need a sleep therapist at this point. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, it's, uh, wait, a sleep therapist? Yeah, man. Like therapy for sleep, do you? Yeah. I mean, that could be an euphemism. You understand what I'm saying? For a big titted gal, you just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Double S, I can't change. You see this, brother? You see him? <laughs> you see him? Sleep therapist. No, but serious, seriously, that like, at this point, I probably will need one still. Mm, you're, you're like, it's like you've lived a night shift life. You know yeah, what I'm I live on American time in store. Mm. But everybody else lives in UK time, so I have to kind of balance. Yeah. It just I, doesn't work. Yeah, I know it's like, more time, I'll phone you, if I phone you in the afternoon, you sound mad tired. Mm-hmm. Like, mad dead tired, you know what I mean? Yeah, my, I can't lie, my own, true say I'm going to gym at stupid times, my own body clock is dumb, but you know what I mean? I used to work night shifts, so there's an excuse. Mm-hmm. You? Mm-hmm. Not so much. But hey, you know, I when you move into America... When I'm moving to America, mm. when the sweet ones stop being so treacherous. Listen, with that in, with the English accent, you I'm sure, you know what I mean? It won't be such a treacherous world out nah, there. Nah, it's a treacherous world. Lena knows it's a treacherous world. Oh, Lord. It's a treacherous world. They got my guy Spacey, David B. Wyland, Epic. Like, I just found out what the B in B. Wyland <laughs> means. <laughs> Let me tell you. David Bumba Club Wyland. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we got the man, them, man. That was a funny stream. Oh wasn't it? my god! Yeah, man. Listen, how's listen. Battlefield though, man? Because you've been saying you've been playing that a lot. <laughs> Stole my heart, man. Stole my heart. Man. <laughs> listen, I've been I've been getting slumped. If I had a streaming channel, hey, you would see the worst gaming you ever seen, but the happiest nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> listen, I've been getting slumped coming on coming on like the. Coming online, getting stressed out, like, ah, you know, all that game of stress and all that. Listen, man, it's been good, though. The game is fucking, it's got bugs and it needs certain fixes, you know what I'm saying? But the game is fucking good. Fucking good, man. Definitely yeah. enjoying it, man. I hear it, man. I hear it. I can't complain, man. I need to start playing it when we do the 24-hour stream. Yeah, oh, it's not, no, the beta's done. The beta's done? Yeah. So I can't play it no more. I can't play it no more, man. Unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah, I, I. It was tough, man. I was, I was at my girls over the weekend just clucking, you know what I mean? And it's just like, I come back and there's nothing I can do about it, you know what I'm saying? That's just an interesting phrase, clucking. Clucking, yeah. It's like, you know, the crackheads, that's what they say, clucking. You know what I mean? Mm. Double S. Wait, wait, wait. Double S? No, crackheads. What is clucking? Clucking. Yeah, what does that mean? Clucking's like you're, you're tweaking, you're you, you, you want some, you know? Oh, sorry, sorry, we don't. No double S. Them, them phrases, them phrases. Clucking sounded like something different to me, boy. Oh, Lord. Yeah, man. It's Wait. crazy out here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, fuck clucking sound like to you, bro? Yo. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. The fans know what we talking about. Goddamn. Damn. Last week's pod, fam. Mm. The visuals. Listen, I ain't even seen the visuals back, fam. You didn't, you didn't watch the clip that F put in the group? No. I've been away the weekend, fam. I thought you were... This is the one clip you get me, like... Like, blood, I ain't be touching my phone. Fam, that's blurry as hell, cut. Oh. <laughs> that's blurry as hell, cut. You're, you're good. Me. I know I'm good. I'll be setting up my cap. 
F. Oh, wow. <laughs> and you were looking at the back of the camera the entire... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. F doesn't care. F doesn't care at all. F doesn't hey, give I a don't know. fuck. How? F doesn't give an F. F is wearing glasses, you know. <laughs> like, if anybody has bad eyesight here, it's either me or walks, right? And I know I got bad eyesight, right? <laughs> F is wearing glasses and was looking at the back of the screen the entire podcast. And you're telling me you turned out blurry, bro? Bur- blurry, bro. Let me just like t- the no, 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 hold on. Let me just flip around my screen. I need to see myself. I can't trust these niggas out here. The fuck? <laughs> no way. No way. Blur- oh, yeah. The entire pod. In type of is that why blurry, the bro. visuals ain't been up? Yeah, I'm blurry, bro. It's only your Patreon footage that's that's part. Of, that's the only thing I got blurry. In. <sighs> Subscribe to Lee's Patreon if you can see me right now. I'm pointing at Lee in it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, up, my guy F, man. Come on, large up F, man. It happens. We get we get these early mistakes out the door. You get me? So, you know what I'm saying? We can we can push on to bigger and better things. Pause. You get me? <laughs> I suppose. I suppose. I suppose. I suppose. I suppose. You me? There's no wife for that. I suppose. You me? But this weekend, obviously, you said with your, with your girls, did you get to catch the Fury and AJ fight? Yes. Yes. So we need your thoughts. I, for me, I think that was the best heavyweight fight I've seen. Ever? I'm going to say I have to put it up there with any great fight you're going to mention. Any great fight you're going to mention. Okay. Even if you're talking about legends, mm-hmm. any great fight you're going to mention. Mm-hmm. Like that is, yeah, that was, and I, for me, it, it was, you know, the unknowns. Mm-hmm. Like Wilder bulked up for this fight. Mm-hmm. He'd been training. We didn't know what Malik was doing as his trainer. Mm-hmm. You know, but Malik himself held himself well and seemed confident throughout the whole camp. Mm-hmm. Um, there was also special, you know, the po- pre-fight press conference. It mm-hmm. didn't really face mm-hmm. off. Mm-hmm. There was, um, it. they just went about this whole thing in an unusual way. You understand? Yeah. And you weren't quite sure because Tyson Fury, like his energy it wasn't that usual, you didn't get that usual, you you saw he was confident, but yeah. there was almost like a little bit of nervousness around him. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Like, cause it's like, you know, a man facing something he doesn't want to do. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he knows it's going to be difficult, but I feel like if you look at Tyson Fury as he come in off this camp, he wasn't as, definitely he weighed as much, but I feel like he was in a, in the last fight, he had a bit more muscle on him. Mm-hmm. You get it? And Deontay Wilder training, you know, and getting muscular, I thought, okay, that this is gonna slow this brother down. It's gonna, it's gonna gas him. You know what mm-hmm. muscles do in mm-hmm. a fight, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know? But Jesus fucking Christ, man. Like I didn't, I wanted Wilder to, I wanted Fury to win, all right? Um, literally because of the, because of the build-up and the excuses from the last fight, I thought... Okay, the cheating allegations. Yeah, all shit. this thing. Like, it wasn't just one thing. You're going mad. It's a million... Like, the, the, they drugged you. You you, you fired my Breland. Mm-hmm. Fucking... Just loads of stuff going off. You know what I mean? You're blaming the boxing commission. You're saying something about his gloves and when he was part of what... Come on, my guy. Like, it, just show, it just put... It just put a bad aura and a bad spirit and a lack of accountability. Like you didn't want to take accountability for, and put your hands up and say, you know what, I could have come harder that thing, or I wasn't in my, z- I wasn't in the zone. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Why for that? But you know, I think he should have just taken ownership for that loss. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. And there was none of that. So I came into the fight rooting for Fury. And it's rare for me to do something like that, but I'm rooting for Fury. And then Deontay Wilder started putting in work. And it's like right. them excuses started getting knocked away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Started getting, he just basically said, why? You know what I'm saying? Joker. Listen, 
them excuses started getting knocked away in it. How he controlled the center of the ring and he was fucking up Tyson Fury. If you watch, rewatch that opening round and see how hard he was hitting, Jesus Christ, like, you can hear it. Like, Tyson Fury is holding some licks to the midriff. Do you oh, know yeah, what I'm the, saying? The jabs to the body. Yeah, yeah, the jabs. He even held a, a couple rights as well, bro. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So, Wilder really came to work and Wilder's heart in the fight, it just, like, the guy was, from about round three, like, he was stumbling about the ring. You know what I'm saying? Because he got knocked down, didn't it? Yeah, Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, round three, yeah. Yeah, and we know Wada takes a little while to kind of recover. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And then immediately the next round, knocks him Wilder down twice. Mm. Knocks him down twice. Mm. Like, at that point, you didn't know who was going to win. Do yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, you didn't know who was going to win, how yeah. it was going to turn out. Because you, you knock a man down twice. If you knock a man down three times in a, in a, in a round, I do believe that's up. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know why they're moving. I don't but... think championship fights have a free knockdown rule. Serious? Is it a count out thing? Yeah. Okay. Or referee waves off. Okay. But some fights do have a free knockdown rule. Right? Yeah. You know? So for me, watching how they fought and then also watching Fury, regardless of not having a full training camp, regardless of the difficulties he's been through, he stood in the fire with a stronger Deontay Wilder and said, fuck it, let's go. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? him back down at all and listen man that knockout was sweet but i also say you know with the knockouts it's a thing where you can a man can tell you i want to go down on my shield right but respectfully i can't be part of that because 20 30 years from now when you can't tie your shoelaces you understand what i'm saying you say oh you're doing you know you're building something for your family and blah 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 but you have to be careful you know what i'm saying you have to you have to think man so when would you have thrown in the towel if you were going to? If I was going to in that last fight, mm. when would I have thrown in the towel? Nah, I don't think I would have. Okay. To be fair, I don't think I would have. So you're happy with how he went out on the show? Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. I hear, I hear. Mm -hmm. For me, um, I was on stream mm. watching it. Mm. Um, I was streaming before. What? Wait, wait, what made you do that? So I was streaming. Mm. My pops called me earlier. He's like, oh, I'm going to watch it. I'll, cut that. I'll either come to you or forward to you mm. or go to my cousins and watch it there because my cousin bought it on pay-per-view. Mm. I'm like, I might be streaming. I don't know. Duh, duh, duh. So I was playing NBA with the man them and that. And then someone in the stream was like, well, you might as well stay on till the fight comes on. And that. Mm. I was like, maybe, maybe. We'll see in it how it goes. Ended up playing till the fight came on. Mm. And someone's like, you might as well do a watch along. Mm. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm watching it anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the party with Spacey, David B. Wylan. I don't, I think it was just us three. There may have been someone else in there, but just commentating the fight from. Mm. You get me? And people are like, oh, we want to see your reactions. So I my camera was off at the time. Mm. I turned on my camera. You get me just watching the fight, like they listen to me commentate. Mm. They get me watching the fight. Proper good experience, still. I've never done it before. Yeah. Exciting. Seeing, obviously, the third round knockdown by Fury, the two knockdowns in the fourth mm -hmm. by Wilder, then him getting knocked down again in the ninth, mm. and then ultimately getting finished. Mm. You get me? That was. Why for that? Yeah, why for that? That was crazy. You've been waiting for this. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Still, it was a crazy fight. Very good, entertaining fight. Oh, man, for finish. No, man. <laughs> no, no, man, Doug. Why? No. Um, it was a very entertaining fight. Yeah. One that was worth staying up for because I stayed up for some really bullshit Rings. fights this yeah. year. Yeah. They get me. Even yeah. though my sleeping pattern's bad, like, this is one of the reasons. Gotta be staying up for these American fights and shit. Mm. You get me? But yeah, man, it was worth it. Um, it's the fight that we didn't want, mm. but ended up being the fight that we wanted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that obviously, I would have rather seen Fury AJ for the undisputed before this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. And then it turned out to be one of the fights of the year. Listen. So kind of glad I got it. Yeah, Do you know what I'm saying. And then now I'm looking forward to seeing White versus Fury. White versus, yeah. If he I, gets past Wallen. See, see, I, I think that will be a beatdown 
like I, I know White's a G. I love White's attitude. I will be rooting for White. Yeah, I'm definitely rooting for White because he's he's a heavy underdog. But that reach of Tyson Fury is it's just too mad. You understand? Like, and for Deontay Wilder, like what was it? He gave up in reach two inches. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, boy, I think Dillian's got shorter arms than what's his face. You know what I mean? Yeah, it'll be a tough fight for for Dillian to win still, but Mm. something I want to see. I do feel like in the Wilder fight with Mm. um, Fury, something wasn't right with with Wilder from opening bell. Like, he seemed very nervous. Seemed like his legs weren't there from the first round, saying it on stream. No, no, nah, it definitely seemed like he wasn't. It wasn't right, bro. He was getting punched and his legs were wobbling and shit. But it wasn't like it was hard punches and that. Like mm-hmm. something was just didn't seem right with my man. Mm. I think I think it's a fear thing. It could I have think, been that. I think we've that. never seen Deontay under the effects of like you know negative adrenaline. Yeah. Like you know when you're going into a fight and you know you're gonna bang somebody up, you're more confident. You're not even thinking about it. Mm. But when you have something that you're really you know what I mean? It adrenaline adrenaline affects people in different, different ways, ways, isn't it? Yeah. But one thing I did like was, you know, when they were boxing. And remember that round in the second fight where Deontay was in the corner and things spun him round? Yeah. Deontay done it back to Wilder in it in mm. this in this round. And you proper saw him fight and really try, regardless of how mash up and beat down he was. He did try. You know, I, I, I don't think him muscling i think him muscling up i guess was beneficial because maybe he had a little more strength to carry tyson fury's weight you understand but it's that thing of gassing out you know because from the third round from the third round he looked tired bro some a 277 pound man leaning on you is is gonna tire anybody out bro why for that leaning <laughs> Why for that? And it, yo, no man for lean. Listen, listen, lean? listen. So how would you have worded that one there? How would I would have, would have, I would never have put it like that. So yeah, how would you Boxing put it? Boxing with a 277 pound man is not an easy thing to do. But he was literally, hmm? like, when know. he's using his weight against you in that sort of a way, yeah, mm-hmm. we all know context, you get it? Yeah, I hate you, man. <laughs> I hate you. We trolling right <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. But right, it wasn't the only sporting thing that's really happened this weekend. Mm. Obviously, we've seen Newcastle have been bought by a consortium out of uh, Saudi Arabia, I believe. Mm. So they are now, they have the combined wealth of every Premier League club, like the top Premier League clubs put together, like more than that. Like it's, it's it's crazy. What did they say the transfer budget was? I I saw I swear I saw some five billion transfer budget or something. Bro, they have unlimited money basically. Oh, it's different. Newcastle's it's different now. They're talking about they're going to get Zidane and this player and this dude. You know what I mean? It's different for Newcastle now. Still, it's no more Mike Ashley. It's different now. Listen, this is. I mean, this is interesting because. I think football clubs have been making so much money off of the fans that it's at the point now where football kind of elevates itself to another level, especially in the premiership. If you say that's the best league in the world, Mm -hmm. you know, it's just kind of known as that. So I think like having these super backers actually backing the teams and pouring money into the teams, not on an Arsenal thing. You know, being an Arsenal supporter, like not an Arsenal thing, it's a it's an embarrassment around at my club. You get it, but on a on a you know, remember when Roman Roman and Bram, Bramovich was about, and in uh, what's his face, DDA Drogba days. You know what I'm saying? Like you had a guy pouring money into a team and making the right choices. You know what I'm he saying? Still does he? Still does still. You know, it's. I think those things are. I think things like that are important to take football to another level. It's not this trying to average out statistics thing that they do around the Arsenal. If we get a player who scores on average, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? What we'll get is this many goals in this, but that's what they do at Arsenal. Mm. And they try and 
okay, let's, okay, so we don't have to spend. And they just withdraw money from the club, withdraw money from the club rather than actually giving them. Investing. Yeah, bro. Stress, mm, man. Mm, mm. So I've, I'm, I'm excited to see what Newcastle do mm. with this new pound, newfound wealth. Mm. Could be like a new city. They get me? It could mm-hmm. be like a new city. Who knows? Definitely going to have everybody on their toes. Apparently Manchester United had an emergency meeting after they bought the club and that. <laughs> you don't want to see Ronaldo go? <sighs> I doubt Ronaldo would go to me. <laughs> money is a mad money thing, is Money is money, isn't it? Man, money's a mad thing. But he's thing. still got two years left on his contract, so... Money's a mad thing, bro. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah. club may all sell him the amount of money they can fling yeah, at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100 million for Ronaldo because right now, I hear it. Because in, cause in, cause in re- realistic talks, bro, like me and you both know the sales of the shirts alone. Like, look at what happened when he come back to Man U. Yeah, it's a mad thing. Yeah, I money they it, make bro. is a mad thing. I hear it. It's going to be interesting to see what I've gone. What do you think of um? Because the players are on international break mm-hmm. right now. What do you think of the health secretary blasting the players for not taking the vaccine? Who? The health secretary, UK health secretary. The t- while blasting. the players are on a break, the England break, and they're on a break. International break. Yeah, so they're playing football for the international teams. But- they have refused the vaccine, and the health secretaries come round out and blasted them for it i mean what would um the overkill shadiq say so i'm so like suck your mom or what's something <laughs> along like, something along them lines Big up shadiq, man. Like, i don't believe you should be telling man how to live his life we already know we can't trust politicians bro mm-hmm. i personally have made the choice to go and get the vaccine that's a personal choice i'm not telling the next man what he should do you know mm-hmm. i can't it's not it's not for you you know, and in however many years time, you'll be telling a generation of people, oh, we're sorry. You know what I mean? God, God willing, it won't happen because I don't think it will. Mm-hmm. I've taken it. But you can't tell another man how to live his life, you know, like that. So have you seen what's going on in New York at the moment? Um, events and having to take yeah, so the you, vaccine before yeah, you can go to so an event. It's extended over to NBA. Mm. There's certain players in that, in certain places, they mm. cannot play home games unless they get the vaccine. Mm. So Kyrie Irving has chosen not to get the vaccine. He's not allowed mm. to play home games. Mm. He's going to miss out on millions of dollars and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And there's a big controversy around all of that. Mm. And the media is just blasting him. Like, mm. is, your, is your stance the same? Is my stance the same? Yeah. Kyrie Irving's a millionaire. He can chill. You know what I mean? Like, it's not... It's like... If he believes in what he's saying and what he's doing, then that's what he believes and says. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. it's, it's entirely up to him. And it, when would it have been the first time the media black, blasts a black man? It's just easy. Yeah, Do you know what I'm saying? Facts. So They love hating. Yeah, Gary come on, as well, man. Still, but... Come on, man. Like, <sighs> Hey, speaking of media that love hating people and these type of things. Oh, oh. Shade Bar is back. Oh, Lord. Uh, listen, don't you think the timing... The timing is amazing. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shade bar is. How long would it go? Don't know. It seemed like a while. About to say about. What has it been about a month, two months? Something like that. Yeah. When are people? Did, did you see all them posts with like this is the Shade Bar's owner and that? Yeah, I did see. That. Yeah, you know, yeah. with Digger obviously. Yeah. 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 And obviously, Digger's going for a bit of controversy himself. Yeah. You know, um, they're the ones posting it. I know, <laughs> I know, and it's a like it's timely that I mean, if you want to merge the two topics, because we were gonna talk about this, yeah, it's timely that your DMs get hacked from now, and then a platform come on it, po- come posting it. You understand? Oh, conspiracy theories. Yo, bro, uh, these guys just know what they're doing. They know mm. what they're doing. Do you yeah. understand what I'm saying? Like these guys, their their avenue is social media, so I'm sure they know people. You know, what I mean, who do the do? You know? Do you think platforms like the shade bar are necessary in the UK? Um, I think they're necessary. Not for my timeline, no. But maybe for other people's. I don't, you know what, to be fair, I just don't even care about. You know what I'm saying? They're platforms I don't care about. Like, I, I, it's like, the, it's like they feed off human nature. You understand what I mean? I'm not going to blame the Shade Borough for posting the kind of news it does because it's humans that go to check out that stuff. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you're saying. 
and they're just going to capitalize off the nature of human beings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As they run a business or a blog post. Yeah. So it's going to be anything scandalous and salacious and anything with a bit of bite to it. The more positive stuff is like, yeah, scroll on. You know what I'm saying? Um, but for me personally, I, I, I honestly don't really care about those platforms. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not anything to me. What, what about yourself? I kind of, so I follow them. Mm. Simply because one of the um, employees followed me. Mm. So I'm just shook I'm going to end up on there one day. Oh, you, you know will. You will. God forbid. God Hopefully forbid. it's for good reasons. Huh? Hopefully it's for good mm, reasons. God forbid. Don't want to be on there. God just, forbid. Just know. No. Mm. God forbid. Yeah. But, huh? CD thing. CD tape. CD tape. Like, Hell no, Jesus. man. God Jesus. forbid. F, what are you? Astaghfirullah, man. Jesus. Yeah, Astaghfirullah. I second hey, that. Yo. Who wants to see that? Jesus Christ. Crazy to me. Crazy. Anyway. Listen. <laughs> anyway. Yo, my item. Listen. Crazy. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. I've seen a couple posts like, I've already said she wanted to get lip fillers and that, and then they reposted it. And she's like, why are you reposting it? Like, and a couple other fit people like relationship shit why are you posting this duh, duh, duh. and i'm thinking mm. on one hand the argument would be when you put it out into the world like what can you say but the second Bro, the that's counter it. argument the that's counter it. argument is mm. you put it out into the world but you put it out towards your fans them mm. reposting it is opening it up to people that may not even like them or care mm. about them and their mm. opinions do you get what i'm saying mm. you know we were talking earlier about accountability yeah the thing is like you know what, bro? If you know that's a possibility, you don't post them things. I've never seen you post anything mad personal. Do you get oh, what I'm saying? Oh, hell no, because there's shit like that. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, because, and you've never seen me post. I've posted maybe family member here or there. But if you go back to my Instagram right about now, you'll notice I've cleaned up my TO. Oh, Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? For real, for real. Like, I've only got 40 something posts now. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like, for me, you never know where you can end up or who's going to end up seeing what you post. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You could be mad at someone for posting something. You got to be mad at yourself for opening yourself up to them kind of things. Yes, we wish the, you know them ones there where we wish the world was perfect and certain things didn't happen in the world, but mm -hmm. certain things do. So you have to move accordingly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Living in a realistic world rather yeah. than I don't want. I yeah. It. Yeah, man. Um, since you cleaned up your TL, this is totally off topic. We're even planning to talk about this. I just remembered it. Twitter are adding a search feature on people's profiles so you can search through their tweets. We can search through people's tweets anyway. You can, obviously, you have to type mm -hmm. in certain things to get Twi more, Twi Twitter is trying to become super toxic. Oh, yeah. Like, Twitter is twi the, just the nature of how Twitter works is the reason it's the most toxic social media platform. It definitely is still. You know, it just is. just the nature, like, it's like you could tweet, I'm happy, and it just become a big thing on the timeline. You understand? <laughs> you know? Oh, you weren't happy last year when you did it. Do you know what I mean? Do you get what I'm saying? Listen, do you, treacherous. Listen, do you remember um, during a lockdown, mm -hmm. people were just going about dragging people for no reason. It was like a horde of, like, virtual people with pit, virtual pitchforks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just going after people. And then then it became men versus women and the whole clubhouse thing. And clubhouse just revealed a lot of people's madness. Fight. Crazy. It's been, yeah, man. Twitter's the home of backlash. And Cancellation that doesn't really cancel. You know what I mean? What, speaking of backlash, yeah. Mm. What do you think about the whole fumes the engineer plugged in versus producers type argument that's been going on. Oh shit. Yo, we were having this conversation the other day, innit? Mm. And for me, it's a thing where producers look at your contracts. Facts. Real talk, like, you know, Facts. look at your contracts, understand where, where you're sending a beat, you know, and to whom you're sending a beat and know that, okay, on your website, you may say this beat can be sold for A, B, C, D, and E, but you also have to keep in mind platforms as well. So if you are going to, an you have a bit on your site that says, if you, this beat is going towards a 
well-established platform you can phone this number for, you know, and you have a manager or it's yourself negotiating the deal. You know what I mean? Um, again, once again, it's a tough thing to say, but it's like you can be pissed off at somebody, but don't allow it to happen because you're so shy in your business. You know what I mean? Mm. You know, you don't want to have that conversation because it's uncomfortable. You know mm. what I'm saying, bro? You know, what are your thoughts anyway? You being, having, you being, I guess, you know, coming in on the producer tip, what, is, what are your thoughts? I'm understanding a lot more about that scene and being close to a lot of producers as well. I think you get what you negotiate. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, if you're worth it, mm. you'll, you'll, um, you'll get what you, you ask for type thing. Like, mm -hmm. the worst for you is to say, there's two things you can say if you say a price. Mm. No, three things. Either yeah, mm. no, mm -hmm. or no, but I can offer you this. Mm. Those are the only things, the three things that can happen. Mm. If he says no, mm. you can say you're not using my beat. Mm. Or he can say, yeah, I'll use another beat. You get what I'm saying? It's his mm. platform. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to, I don't know any specific producer um, situations. Mm. Like people came into my stream the other day when I was, was doing reactions. It was like, oh yeah, a certain producer got paid twenty five pound, and the 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 it streamed like five million streams or something like. Wait, that. hold on, hold on. Twenty five pound. Yeah. So that's got, got uh, okay. Uh, that's got to be a he say she say, say thing. That's what apparently the producer said. He got paid twenty five pound. Or twenty pound, I think. Okay, uh, you know what? Before I'm even, cause that sounds wild to me, mm -hmm. and only God, I guess, cause I can't, you know, he say, she say, I can't guess off that, and yeah. only God fumes and the producer and whoever paying will know. Mm -hmm. But if that is a true thing, yeah, that's exploitation for real, for real. I, I say it with my chest, you know what I mean? But, but that's what all the music game is exploiting shit fam definitely even but, in contracts it says we exploit you we have yeah, the right to yeah, exploit the, to, the, the, that's what yeah, it is yeah but 25 pound bro like it's yeah that's that's but just on a on a on a whatever you want to call it moral or whatever it's not that you uh, it's you not and moral, i it's not about moral though. it's bro, business isn't it yeah i hit business but like why are you selling beats for 25 pound that's what people do these days isn't it like leases and that yeah, but what this is what I'm saying. Your leases need to be clear. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Your leases need to be clear because, okay, on the flip side of that, like I said, why are you letting go of a beat for £25? Is it you think, okay, I'm going to get all this exposure? Do you understand? These these are the questions that I didn't have the answers to. So when, when someone said that to me, I was like, mm. first of all, I don't know how, like, obviously, fumes ain't going on your website and buying a beat. Do you get what I'm saying? So mm. terms that you have on your website don't really apply to this transaction. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. because you have to set that those terms out to when you're negotiating to themes when you're negotiating um so you're say, you're saying it's more than likely they're contacted directly and yes yeah, so it's, it's probably that like back in the before before fumes started using his own producers mm. it's the artist that's picking the beat and, yeah. yeah yeah and rapping on it and then fumes would go sort out mm. you know what i'm saying i don't know at what point this certain plugged in came out. Yeah. It was the OTP plugged in. Yeah. I don't know what, if, if plugged in was huge at that point. Yeah. I don't know what the expectations of how well it would OTP do. OTP being? The TPL lot. TPL lot, yeah. yeah. Was it, is this, what was it? Not this season, but the season before. Maybe season two or something. Like season two. Season two, was it season two when, uh, um because I think Fumes was already doing bits within the scene and within fans of the scene, mm -hmm. right? I think it took him clear with the, the A92. A92 one. Yeah. I don't know if it was before or after. Yeah, before or after. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, So yeah. I don't know what the expectations are plugged in. So it's easy to look yeah. back on it, or like on, on hindsight, in hindsight and say, yeah, it done this well, I should have got this much. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. I don't know if at the time the producer specified they wanted royalties. Mm -hmm. If they did. Yeah. We simply don't know the contract. If they did, then mm -hmm. yeah, they deserve it. If they but, didn't, that's an oversight but, on their behalf. But real talk, right? If, if, and I'll say this, right? I'm not going to make an assumption that Fumes handed out unfair contracts because I haven't seen them, right? Yeah. But if a somebody who owns a platform hands out an unfair contract, 
I think it's just it's common decency because you will get the reputation of being a a fuck boy or whatever you want to call it. You understand, right? And when you get that reputation, it hinders your business moving forward. Do you know what I'm saying? He's re- he's kind of eliminated that because they only use his producer. Like the beats that are unplugged in now are all mm. from producers managed by him or signed. Yeah, him. yeah. So I think that's been eliminated so, now. So because I always because I, I noticed there was sort of energy towards Fumes there was an energy towards him like it felt like hate like you know what I mean oh yeah the people are pocket watching but I I, re- I don't know whether it's rightly or wrongly so do you get what I'm saying because I don't mm. know anything about these agreements I haven't speaking to, spoken to Fumes mm. directly about any specific mm. person and that's and, and that's the thing because you know it, it's difficult to actually come up with anything conclusive if you haven't if you haven't seen contracts or you don't you know you haven't seen evidence of what somebody is claiming because we hear a lot of times people talk about contracts and then somebody opens up and says well no here is your paperwork and this is what happened and that's what's going on yeah. do you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. now if if fumes was to open his mouth and say no that isn't the case and show some paperwork that would squash a lot of stuff do you get what i'm saying you know, I don't think he feels like he has to. Yeah, but sometimes I, I don't. I can't tell you how another man feels, but I just, I just think sometimes you know, just to set things right. You understand what I mean? But by not revealing paperwork, I guess you know these things that are being said can continue to be said. Do you get what I'm saying? You know, and it's and it. This is the thing we don't know. If it is a true thing, then £25 for a beat. Like, that is... It's like, you know, like, the only equivalent of that I could call, it's like, you know when you get a black police officer and he goes extra hard on black people? Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like, you've come from the game, from something you know, because he knows, you get what I'm saying? You've come from the game, something you know, and... You've gone extra hot, like you know what I'm saying. That's that's cruel. That's not even. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't. I don't. I I could only call it that. That's cruel. You get it? I don't know. But why are you sell? Another question. Why the fuck are you selling a beat for twenty five pound? That sounds mad to me. Someone's got to take res- response. If it is true, and this is the thing, bro. We're discussing hypotheticals right about now. You get it? So yeah, I can't I can't conclusively say anything there. To be fair, it does sound a bit mad. I it's, feel like we hit people's most. The biggest problem is Fumes has made so much money, and people haven't made like a percentage. So people feel like I've seen the post recently from my guy Fable. Big up Fable. Mm. Say something like, "Ah." Oh, um, engineers don't get royalties so why is fumes getting royalties the, the, the it's his platform he sets the terms you can either agree to it or not disagree with it that's a mad thing to say though bruv it's like you setting up a business and somebody telling you why are the, you're not running I the think business we need more education about, in, about business in the industry still yo more education because that, that's if, a if mad statement more, i'm not gonna lie if bro. we did have more education i don't think people would be selling beats for 25 pound or whatever else do you get what i'm saying <sighs> yeah yeah man it's, it's 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 tough to like you said to say anything conclusive because we don't know the producers could be in the rat fumes could be in the rat we we, we have no idea mm. One thing I do know is the producers, if they signed anything, have their contracts as well. You know, like that. Mm-hmm. I and would assume they they would have signed something because artists have to. Mm-hmm. So I would have seen they would have had to. As well. They would have had to. One hundred percent. So yeah, I just read the contracts, man. Yeah, you get know. legal and advice before you sign any contracts. Yeah, man. Um, include terms in the emails if you send them beats. You know, like that. Um, yeah, man. All of that, but on Do the flip, to cover on the back. flip, on the flip side of that, if you're setting something up, make sure your business is where it should be, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, 
A reputation is a mad thing, man. You just never know in this internet age. You never know where you'll be 20 minutes from now, fam. You know? Big facts. A bit like Dutch and Bouncer. Apparently, they're fighting us. Fam, crazy to me. The, hey, one quick thing, yeah. The way he's bodying off these topics, yeah. Go on. Anyway, <laughs> listen. Um, Yeah. Dutch and Bouncer, boy. Um, Yeah, I see Um, Dutch accepted, like, and... You know the terms Bowser put in? Mm -hmm. He said, oh, shed weight. You get what I'm saying? He's going to go down in weight. I mean, he said about two, three stone. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? To fight. But yeah, that should be... Well, that's a, it's a boxing match, so I'd pay to see that again. You pay it? Mm -hmm. I'm weary. The man, I'm going to chip in again. <laughs> the man, I'm going to chip in again after that last fight. Mm -hmm. I'm weary. Might, you might, might, might be a lot of clinching and shit. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Mm. Who knows? Nah, I feel like someone get knocked out. Someone get knocked out. Yeah, I feel like someone get knocked out, bro. I don't even think certain men know. Like you know, in all the amateur fights we've seen, we've seen very little clinching mm -hmm. and more uh, covering up. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I feel, I feel like no. Nah. Mm -mm. You have to actually get through the barrage of punches to be to able clinch. to clinch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I get what you're saying. Still, you have to have techers. You can't just. Mm. You get yeah, me, like, you have to yeah. be able to. I get what you're saying. If you're story. trying to hug me and I'm trying to spark you in the lip, oh, I'll, I'll bang your head off. <laughs> Listen, Why? Oh, wait, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> this you, this you. <laughs> I had to get you back for that still. Oh, Jesus Christ. I had to get you back for that one. It's still. not even what. Mm -hmm. Anyway. To. Right, yeah, man. There ain't really much to say on that. We said it last week, or mm. what our thoughts are, and that, but yeah. It's, not really much. Really, you should be talking about nines. Mm. Two I years. Just, How do you feel? I feel like a I feel like a victory was won. A victory was won. Yeah, it's a light sentence, isn't it? Listen, for two hundred and eighty, what? Okay, I don't know. Yeah. Like Mike, he weren't lying when he said his letters like Mike Russ. You know. Yeah. He yeah. weren't lying, fam. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Free Yo. nines, man. Free scraps. Mm, we need that man, the UK legends in rap. Defo man, I'm I'm I'm, I'm excited to see what he does, mm -hmm. um, when he comes home. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the music pays him more than certain things would pay him. I mean, that royalty money would just you know stick up there. You know what I'm saying? And especially when he's coming out, you know, streams are gonna take up, and you know all them things there. And when he comes home, you know. Hopefully, you kind of hope an uh, artist has been writing in jail, you know what I mean? So, I need, yeah. I need something with um, Church Road to Hollywood energy. Mm -hmm. Therefore, need something like that. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you're aware of Manya Chihuahua, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, the comedian. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a ch new Channel 4 show coming. What do you think? Um, How do you feel? You know what? He's one of these people for the scene that, well, not really for the scene. He's like, oh. uh, uh, yeah, bro, I'll be real with you. Like, it's like, for me, yeah, just just not, like, I, I'm happy to see him succeed. Let's put it that way, yeah? But it's not, he's not my choice of comedian, bro. You know what I'm saying? Why do you feel that way? I feel like he, the stuff he makes is not catered towards me. You understand? I feel like, it's about my culture, but not cater, not catered towards me. It's fed to somebody, a, an entire different demographic. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm. You think he's talented? I do. Yeah. Like 100%. He's singing, rapping. 100%. All of that. 100%. He's, he's talented. Cold still. But it's not, I, he's not for my demographic. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not for, no, not for me. But I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Mm. So you won't be tuning into. I have no interest, bro. Zero interest. If it if it's a mad thing, then yeah, but you know what I mean? Right about now? No, like I've seen him, you know, I've seen him seen him do what he does and he entertains and he does he's he he, he sketches like he spins things around really quickly. He does. You know what I mean? Very quickly, very relevant, you know, very smart, witty, knows how to do his thing, but it's just not for me. I feel like it's more, I'll be a hundred with you. I feel like it's more Fiat 500 Twitter's vibe. You get what I'm saying? Crazy to be. You get what I'm saying? So it's just not for me personally. All right, if we're to talk about things, other cultures and things for other cultures, mm. the Jesse Nelson stuff with the Nicki Minaj song, 
How do you feel? How do I feel? Um, ZZ Mills been getting hard. Go on, ZZ, man. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing, ZZ. You get it? Trust me. Yeah. It's... Yeah. I'm back in ZZ all the way. We yeah. talking about yeah, 100, man. So, what do you think of Nicki Minaj defending her? I think because money's involved. Okay. Because, and because you've co-signed it, you've been there and part of it, you've seen it. It's like, oh, why they're attacking that? You have to fit. No, no. Oh. So you think she's doing it to cover her own back tattoo? No, it's just, you know, when you've done something and you've not realized like what, where we are, you know, you're living a different life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? She's living a different life. Her problems are not the same as the average black woman's problems. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, nah, you know? Nah, it's 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 not that thing, man. I, really, that thing. I ain't got much to say on it because I haven't been mm. paying attention. I see what people are saying about her looks and stuff like that, like her trying to look like a black girl. Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, I hear it. But what can you do about it? I mean, it's you can call it out when you see it. You can call it out. Yeah, in fact, you can call it out when you see it. Like because at the end of the day. This is what black people have been saying for years and years and years. Is it going to change though? Is it going to change? It doesn't, it, look, it doesn't matter whether it changes or not. It just matters that you know, you know all them ones where like Martin Luther was always on a humble thing and you know, let's walk and protest and rare, rare and blah, blah, blah. When you get a little bit violent, like, you know, and I guess online it's reputation destruction. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like when you get a bit of things get a bit dicey online, like people have to really check themselves and allow people who are genuinely from a space and genuinely from a culture to be. Yeah, you get it? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you can't, cause we, I know this girl two months from now, three months from now, it'll be a different look. Do you understand what I'm saying? Crazy does. So I don't, um, nah man, burn her down man. I don't care. Fire okay, for man. that. Mm. So that's the approach people are taking with, um, or certain communities are taking with <laughs> politically correct answer. Yeah, <laughs> we ain't come on here to be politically correct. Huh? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. That's the same approach communities are taking with Dave mm. Chappelle. Yeah. Do you think it's um? Well, I don't want to say. Let me just ask your thoughts. I don't want to say if do you think it's right or not. Let me ask your thoughts. How, mm. Have you seen the? Point yep, I've seen the, the special. The yep. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Very controversial. Yeah. Very controversial. Yeah. yeah. When but, you, what was your first initial reaction when you heard the controversial bits? Um, to be fair, like I'm not completely educated on these things. I don't know as to what, let's say a trans or LGBTQ person would feel towards certain things. You know what I mean? Um, so watching it it was more so watching it and i enjoyed it and then i came online and saw J dave chappelle's trending and then i'm sort of seeing another perspective people talking about oh you know this brother should be cancelled this should go on that should go on you understand so it's kind of it was kind of kind of uh something to observe you know what i mean because there's a ton of experiences that you know personally just not being of that community you know, you don't have. Do you get what I'm saying? You know, but I think his special was was heartfelt, man. Heartfelt, even talking about his friend that died, like, you know what I mean? It was just, yeah, it was a mad thing. Well, how do you feel about it? I haven't watched it yet, mm. but I've watched a lot of people covering it. Um, I did watch the Joe Biden podcast on it. Mm. Um, what have your thoughts been on what people have been saying around it? So, I w Charlemagne was... Um, Basically saying he shouldn't have used that David the baby um reference, like because that's not that's not in context. Like the baby killed someone in self-defense, so can't really compare that people's outrage or lack of outrage to people's outrage of uh, certain people being triggered, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Um I hear that bit. I do hear that bit. Everything else. He's entitled to his opinion, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And how he feels mm -hmm. about certain things. And Ish, I think it's Ish. Which one's the dark skinned guy from Joe? Ish. Bro? Ish. So. No, Ice, sorry. Ice, Ice. is the dark skinned yeah, guy. Yeah. Ice. Ice basically said, we want equality, right? Mm. That's what uh, the LGBTQ community are fighting for. Yeah. Q 
plus are fighting for. Mm. Um, so if Dave Chappelle makes jokes and says statements about everybody, yeah, and he doesn't about, yeah, their community, I saw that that is not equality. Yeah, yeah. It, I gotta say this though, bro. You gotta understand like things that trigger people, right? So let's say, for instance, you have a victim or somebody who's been sexually assaulted or sexually abused. Yeah. Sexual assault or that kind of stuff is going to be a triggering thing for them. Facts. And you cannot tell them how to feel about it. Can't tell anybody how to feel. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's going to be of their every every human being has their sore spots. Yeah. You understand yeah. what I mean? And it, it in that respect, you could say, yeah, equality means we can all take take the fun out of X, Y, and Z. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. And there are comedians out there that tell rape jokes. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I would assume that any victim of rape would be offended at that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And would have the right to voice that as well. Yeah. You know, and that's that's yeah. my only that's my only point in that respect. I don't know about the equality thing because I can't tell anybody else how to feel about can't, their can't, struggle or jerk. Sorry, or journey, you know what you I mean? You can never be in control of their reaction. Mm -mm. You can only be in control of your actions. Mm -hmm. And I feel like... And that's why yeah. and that's why it's so important that ZZ Mills and these women let, her, let them know. Do you get what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's a struggle. That, that, that teething of culture is a struggle that I can relate to. You get yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But just because I can't relate to the LGBTQ community struggle, yeah. it doesn't mean that it shouldn't, that voice shouldn't be heard. You understand what I mean? I feel like, yeah, even if you don't, like, like some people don't agree with the lifestyle or whatever else, mm. it doesn't really affect you. Just leave, let them live their life. That Bro, type of thing, you know what I'm it's, saying? A, it's, it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Life. As long as nobody's troubling you, just mm -hmm. let, let people live the, their life, let the them make their choices. Yeah, the thing is like, the way people are afraid of other people from different communities, you would think they were like, hordes of them running about like on a mad thing out there. You got what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it isn't like, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's not really, you know, you don't walk a, a, a home at night and fear sort of, you know, like you understand what I'm saying? Like a mad thing happening to you. You get it? Do you get what I'm saying? You know, okay. I can't, <laughs> I can't tell, I can't tell what I'm going for your mind, but you understand? Oh no, no, I don't fear it. Just... Yeah. It's just, it's just so, you know, we live a life where, we're actually able to, we're actually able to go about and do what we need to do. There's a lot more fear than there is education. And it's always that thing of you fear what you don't understand. You fear what you're not educated about. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So man, okay, cool. Some things are just none of my business in this life. Do you understand? I don't really, we have that thing of being nosy, isn't it? So when some actor or somebody comes out as gay, it's like, oh, Segway that though. <laughs> you know the thing F showed us? The, the Spider-Man thing. No, the Superman thing. The yeah, Superman thing. Yeah. That's, that's, that's Superman so thing. so that is news, isn't it? It's like It's like, does it matter? It doesn't, bro. It doesn't. No, but like when you think of Superman, mm. do you ever care what his sexuality was like? Listen, Superman has never been I love the film Man of Still, right? Yeah. I think it's an amazing film. Yeah. But Superman as a character. I've never been able to really relate because his life is so different. Now, but every 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 character, mm. Spider Man's the only one I really see like have like a mad love interest in that. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like Mary Jane and all these things. Mm. That's just a common theme for him. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? But now Superman had Lois Lane still. Lois Lane, she did. He did. He did. He did. Mm. But when I think of these superheroes, mm. I just think about fighting, fam. I don't think about. Do their dating <laughs> what and they that, do, like, yeah, yeah, what they do in there. Like, uh, I, I mean, the mad, the mad, I don't know. Again, I, it could be just, I, I do not, know, knowing I, their struggle. Okay, yeah, and I do know if I was watching a Superman movie and he had a boyfriend, I'd be like, okay, this is interesting, but I wouldn't go any further into watching the movie card. That's, do you get what I'm saying? It's like, okay, this is not something I'm interested in. You know what I mean? Just sit, simply as that, you get it. I don't even watch EastEnders no more. I just heard that shit. You don't even watch EastEnders? I ain't watched it at time. I ain't watched EastEnders in... Jesus, it's got to be about 20... I thought it was crazy. Oh, 10, 10, 15 years, bro. I thought, I thought they, they mock religion hard to me. Seriously? Bro, you had... I don't think people de deeped it. Like, 
you had a Muslim man dating a guy called Christian. <laughs> like that was that one there was uh, bad. It's uh, basically a fucky religion. <laughs> they have the right to. They have the right to as well. But yeah, that one was crazy. Still, yeah, I think, and that's the that's the thing is to like, like we all we all drawn to things we're interested in. Mm-hmm, Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So you know, like certain things I don't I have zero interest in. You know what I mean? Other things I'm interested in. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, um, but I'm not here to, you know, them one day, but I don't really care. Yeah. I don't, I really don't care. Like, do you know what I mean? It's not like, and I don't care in not a horrible way. It's just, I just don't care. It's non-consequential for my life. You know what I'm saying, bro? What would I say? Leave out the kids shows and that, man. I mean, listen, man, I don't know. The kids shows, you don't, you don't even need like straight relationships in kids shows, bro. Like 100, 100. Just leave it out, bro. Yeah. I don't know, man. I just... You know, I, 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 when it comes to the development of kids, I don't know enough about that shit. Yeah, I would just say I don't know enough about that shit to, to, to comment. You know what I mean? Um, because I know there's a wild, there's there's a wide range of views on that sort of a, on those sort of topics. You know that you know kids are too young to know about this. Kids and da-da. but let I've kids know be it, kids, man. Let kids be kids, but kids are also curious. Like, um, you know, when you. I don't know if you've ever seen like little girls around somebody they know, you know, who's in a relationship and how they observe that woman or that guy. You get what I'm saying at the Mm -hmm. time, you know, kids are smart and kids take in a lot of information. You know what I mean? So I don't know whether it's necessary, but I don't know whether it's not necessary. This is is a a parental choice. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear, I hear that. That's a parent, man. Because everybody wants to raise their child how, how they, they want, want to, to yeah, with yeah. their own values exactly. and their, yeah. I think that has to be a respect as well. But I also get the fact that which in what they're trying to do is raise a generation of people who don't have the, let's say, same biases that their parents had. And that, do you understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. So let's say 60, 70 years ago or whatever, whenever it was, it was, you know, no dogs, no blacks, no Irish. You understand? Mm-hmm. But by working through that, you know, um, having black people in children's cartoons and do you understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. They kind of work through those stigmas from generation to generation. You know what I'm saying? saying? You know, so yeah, I, I I don't know enough about it to conclusively give any, you know, I, I just know, I just know in myself, like in regards to my own children, I'm not afraid of them, like seeing them things. I'm not afraid of any of it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not afraid of, like, my kids said, oh, two men were kissing and blah, blah. It wouldn't bother me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that. I hear it. Speaking of children, mm. apparently they've, they've got uh, Madeline McCann's murderer in custody. First of all, do you believe they do? Second of all, what do you think, like, overall? I've been talking for a minute. You say something, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you should have controlled the topics if you wanted that luxury, bro. Mm. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, you see, you see when you control the segues in there, goddamn. You can just sprinkle your little feel like a Two goddamn pence. feel like a goddamn interview over here, motherfucker. Hey man, this what, what, what were your thoughts on? <laughs> Hey man, I'm Joe Incri- Budden today. Incriminate your black ass today, Levi. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh look. Crazy ass. Hey. Yeah. Um, we, we said Madeline McKay, you wanna take it? No, oh, okay. Why? Why? F why are you behind the camera giving it? Why? F, F went like this. <laughs> why? Yo. Are you quite finished? Are you quite finished? I don't want to take that for no man dog. <laughs> no man dog. No, because... <laughs> Listen. Yeah, Madeline McCann. A murderer after how many years? 15 or something. 15 years. Ah. Something. I don't know how many years it's been. It's been crazy. What evidence? Do we know about the evidence? They said they've got man- enough evidence to charge him now. They didn't say what the evidence was. Unless it's DNA or like literal camera footage of him taking her away, I 
I don't see how. I would like it. Because obviously there's conspiracy theories that the parents are starting to do with it. I would like if it wasn't anything to do with the parents to, for, for them to have that closure. I don't think it was anything to do with the parents. And I'll, I'll, I'll be real on this level. I, they're still looking for their girl today. Yeah. You so for, for them, I would like that closure because yeah, yeah. Sec, like, oh, similar but off topic with Jelani Day, mm. um, yeah. the black man that was like had his organs harvested and stuff like that. That's wait, wait, hold on, run that by me again, fam. So there was a, a university student that yeah. went missing, mm. um, maybe some months back. Mm. Body was found in the river, jaw sawn off, eyeballs, uh, eyeballs missing. Didn't even have his liver. Like all the organs, his brain was even missing. Do you get what I'm saying? Um so in the UK? No, no, US. Um shit like that. What in the fuck? Yeah, it's crazy. Um we don't ever want those things to happen to people. But I'd think the mother would rather know than not know. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? That's fucking horrible, man. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible stuff. So I say that to say I would like for the family to know what's, yeah. what's happened mm. rather than them, how many years they he, had. He, did he searching. go missing like late at night or something? Or... I, don't, I don't know. I don't know yeah. when they went missing. Just um, his, his mom said he, she spoke to him every day yeah. and then just hadn't spoken. Hadn't spoken to him, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, people, you know what? Yeah, I need to start walking about in daylight hours, man. People, remain safe, yeah? Remain safe, remain man. Remain safe and all like that. Keep yourself protected at all times. Trust me. You see me? Do what you have to do to protect your well-being and make it... Complete the mission and go back home. Mm -hmm. Where to my guy Shaka? You get me? Um, That's that's been my mantra, my mantra for quite a while. Yeah. I don't, I don't need to be out here. I'm 27 years of age. Mm-hmm. I don't need to be Mingling hanging and around mixing and all of that. Yeah, being on the strip, yeah. hang, like, with the end, in the ends of the mandem all the time. Yeah, do you get me just lurking? Mm. No, I don't need to be there. Like, complete the mission and get back oh. home. You see me? The real talk, like you know, yeah, and the, all of that stuff just making me rethink like my gym schedule and that. You know what I mean? It's going to daylight hours, man. You know what I mean? Don't need to be all of that. Yeah, man. Keep yourself safe, people. Them, man. Mm. And watch your kids, dog. Yo, that's sad, man. Very sad, man. Um, transitioning away from all of that, my favorite platform, Twitch, got hacked recently. Yeah. Um. Everybody's passwords, everybody's personal information, and and stuff, and monetary gains got leaked. And why are you looking at me like Lee? You know. I wonder, like, nowadays, what constitutes hacking? Somebody probably left their password open, right? Or some employee, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Some disgruntled employee still had access to the, you yeah. know what I mean, to the back end of the site and just released everything, you know? Don't think, like, they're moving like it's, like, you know, some code to encrypt. No, somebody figured out the password, you know what I mean? Somebody you, who gave, who had access, you know what I'm saying? You guys fucked up, man. They used the word, oh, we were hacked, yeah? All right. Crazy you know what I mean, us, man. I'm telling you, hey, Twitch need to pattern up, man. That's that's that's. that's how, did, how did you feel being a Twitch? Being a Twitch, um, I didn't care. Was any of your de details published? I don't know. I didn't look. No. I didn't look at any of it. I didn't care, bro. Where do you find out that? What it was on Twitter. Twitter. Okay. People were adding me in it and stuff. Mm. Even my mom come to me like, "Did we change your Twitter password yet?" Mm. It's crazy. Mm. Yeah, man. It was, it, was a, it, was, it was a big thing. Mm. It seemed like it was a bigger. Well, not. Amongst my age group, it seemed like it was mm. a bigger thing than WhatsApp, Instagram, and yeah. Facebook getting down. Yeah. Why'd they go down anyway? Apparently, they could bear that like, someone hacked, again, hacked, and deleted bear of their source code and that. So, the, I was hearing that people thought that it was to cover up some shit like that news. Oh, everything's down to cover up some other shit going on somewhere else or something but like that. You know, then conspiracy that's theories. only one part. Like, there's still Twitter, there's still Snapchat. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? Like, it's but a fact, but a fact that Facebook is down would take up the news space. It's Facebook, WhatsApp, and yeah. whatever would take up the news space. You I know mean, what I mean? Is 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 a huge company that owns all three. 
Mm-hmm. You get me? Um, it's like Mark Zuckerberg's a new Rupert Murdoch, you know, like that of this generation, mm-hmm. you know. It's like back in the day when newspapers had the power they had. Do you get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying, still. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You and and news platforms. Bro, there's, there's bare people with power right now, even down to NatWest and their money doing their own stuff. You get me? Yo, bust a gun, bust your gun. <laughs> Everybody at home just bust your gun for walks and the, you know, the segues, man. The motherfucker riding this like it was what? Why? Like it was 2017, you know blood? what I mean? On that Segway, I'm telling what you. Free blood. <laughs> I'm talking about riding segways. What am to you? The say segways straight after. Fam, relax, man. I said riding this. Why? Relax. Why? Relax. I like women. Why? No man for yo, riding nothing, yo, dog. Yo, yo. Let me tell you something. Why? You see, you see the homophobia in Jamaica is different, you know? It's <laughs> different. <laughs> man can't even talk about a segue. A man riding a segue. We know what a segue is. Bro, you, you know what I'm saying? See, when look I said at the why, fuckery man introduced. When I said why, you look did not at, say riding Look at the segways, fuckery. You said man riding. said I have to say segue straight away. Yes, did, just bro. in case someone with a machete coming in. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, who, uh, who riding? Who riding why? Right? <laughs> this bum muckler. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yo. yo, 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 relax. Yo, Mark. Yo, we in, yo. Our, Ingl- we in our England. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry, carry on, carry on, bro. Carry on, bro. Uh, nah, bro. I got, I'm gonna come, come off the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Work for that. You know what I'm saying? Not West, not West. Money laundering. Bro, do you think anybody's going to jail for it? No, this is big conglomerates and that, man. Someone take a fool. Say and that again. Big conglomerates and that, you yeah, me? Yeah, and them yeah, big man. words and them things there, you see me? But, yeah, man, it's, it's, it is where it is. Mm. It's like Saturday comes out. All right, it's going tomorrow. Mm. I mean, mm. these people do what they want, like, yeah. like down to the... The PMs and their personal expenses and they, they do what they want, bro. Yeah, they do what they want. Yeah, they me. You just you just, just aspire to get to the stage where you can do what you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. I hear that. It's sad. Like money laundering. Um, all Everybody banks, does it. All banks. You, these just these lot just got caught. You know like that. Yes, that's it. That's they me. just got caught. I don't know how. I don't know how. Who, whoever caught them is in a precarious position though. Car, I'm, I'm telling you, for you to for you to blow the whistle on something involving so much money where so many people are getting paid, mm. if it's my account that you've hacked, I put money on your head like a Niger man, you know, like that. Like, that's how it goes, isn't it? I'm telling you, if it's my account that you're looking at and telling me that's laundered, you have caused a problem for me. Crazy, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, man, I don't, I, just, man, I don't really have much to say on it. It is what it is. It's the people at Power Day and what the people at Power Day. Yeah, man. Do you get me? Do you, I wonder, the, my only thing was, like, who is their money they don't want to do That's That was my, oh, my biggest question. No, no, no. no. And I shouldn't see, have asked that question. See, it's not, not, it's not even at that one. It's, this is the, the realest question is, who did they give up? Because, because, okay, I feel like there's a choice in these situations. Okay, we're going to show you this amount of money laundering. Here to cover up something else, yeah. Car, we can't even show you understand. It's like the police, I believe the police would even negotiate them ones there. Okay, just give us, yeah. yeah, yeah I Do you know what I mean? mean yeah. mm. I hear you're saying, man. Mm. It's, it's, it's conspiracy theories you don't want to um, go into, yeah. Car. To be fair, you might have we know nothing about them, to that, be fair. Me? Yep, so yeah, man. I'm gonna leave it there though, man. You get me? Chen Reaction Podcast, it's been the lead to the VI interview. That, 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 that's next week. He's going to have the topic. So it can be more. You get me? Maybe we'll just have more topics that I have more to say on. Cut today. It's just been like, apart from what, which topic did I even really have much to say on? But I did I don't know. Fury AJ was probably the most, but yeah. This week has been a bit, a bit, a bit quiet. It's been quiet, man. Mm. Quite for stuff we're interested in. To be fair. Yeah. There are stuff I'm not interested in to happen, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big facts, big facts, man. And you know me, you know what this podcast is, man? This is Big Bro talking to Lil Bro. 
So when Big Bro talks, she listen. You listen to your elders. Is that what you're framing it as? I like how smart this brother is. Like he likes the narrative. You know the controller. He took control of the narrative and said, "It's Big Bro talks to Little Bro." No, this is a conversation between brothers. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Big Bro talking to Little Bro. We're brothers. Listen. I'm not saying we're not brothers. What I'm saying is we talk, we're having a conversation, you know, like that. Yeah. Yeah. I've been taught to have respect for my elders. So when they're Bruv, talking, don't you make listen. this an ageism thing. How is don't, it ageism? Don't run, don't run age jokes. Are you jokes. older than me? Don't run age jokes. Are you older than me? I don't run fat jokes. You understand? Okay, you do. You do. You've done. You've definitely done it. But yeah, but I've, I've say... said to myself, I'm not going to do that because you're my brother. You understand? So you're you my older brother. What? And you're not my older brother? Bro. I could... I, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know R-E-S-P-E-C-T. You don't respect your brother. Yeah? Wait, wait, wait. I said to myself, you know what, yeah? Wait, wait, wait. Run your team. Before you even go there, there was a comment you said, you said some a parable earlier, a saying, and it was something to do about, it's an old school saying or something. I never made no age jokes then. Yeah. I thought about it. I said, nah. Let me leave it alone. Mm, mm, you know mm. what I'm saying? This is not an age joke. It's factual. You are my older brother. I never said you're, you're ancient or anything. But but let me tell you something. This can be flipped in an age joke in a matter like that. So I will not participate in such. You I'm get not what I'm flipping saying? it into I, an age I joke. I pure respect for myself. I'm you not flipping it? it into an age joke. Bro, it's all right. I'm not in it. You know what I'm saying? It's all right. I'm not. You get hey, it? Listen. But therefore, why? Nah, there's no wife for that. No, 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 wife for you, fam. Listen, Yo, listen to that. Yeah, I say wife for that. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not in it. Hey, I'm not in it. <laughs> wife for that, man. Yeah, I'm. Oh, Jesus. No man for it. Anyway, no anyway. no man, dog. <laughs> Yo, and I said I'm not in it. <laughs> Hey, why, man? Oh, Jesus why, man? Christ. Jesus Christ. But Look anyway. at me raising my voice at this time. <laughs> Listen, if you've heard drums beating, I don't know what's going on next door either. Hey, Trust we might me, have to talk like about it one pod something. episode, did it? Huh? We have to talk about it one pod episode. Uh, listen, uh, anyway. Yeah, man. Chain Reaction Podcast. Why lead to the VI? Lead to the VI. You get me? Love yeah. you lot, man. Big up F, big up Faisal. Come on. Come on. Come on.